Okay, so we have reactions. Um, you know, there's a lot of tweets here about the Abacha loot, what should be done to it. Let me take this one from Omodafe. He says, Abacha loot should not be shared or looted. That money should be injected into critical sector of the economy. APC should focus more on getting the economy that has been battered. And then Jay Onora says they should give every Nigerian that owns a BVN they should get one million naira each. One, a one-off and reinvest the rest. This will further encourage the unbanked to get back. Okay, Emmanuel Lufa Deolu says sharing this leads to 300,000 people out of a total of 80 million poor in the nation is ill-advised. Shadi says the ambassador should be invested in form of a revolving loan to SMEs at single digits, preferable less than 5%. This way there will be high rate of payback, less number of defaults and increase in payment. Um, Jordan Ofurum finally says, good morning to everyone in the studio. I'm a trainee of the Federal Government Entrepreneurship Program in partnership with CBN for the various zones, that's CDC. We have been through business training and also developed our business plans. And he says, would it not be beneficial to Nigerians and the Nigerian economy more if such schemes are targeted for special investment? Please don't just give us monies that will go away tomorrow. We crave for sustainable wealth builds the human capacity in our youth. So it's um, about, yes, share, and don't, don't share. share. Yeah, so. Okay, so now let's go into our very, very first topic today. We're talking about um, the state police. The debate is on. The introduction of state police into Nigerian policing system has been widely suggested as the only solution to curbing the incessant security conundrum in the country. And, you know, this debate has gained popularity as a result of the surge in the rate of highly sophisticated crimes in the country. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, should the gov uh, state governments have their own police? Should they not? That is the debate this morning. And we have here in the studio... Okay, you want to take the name? Uh, yeah, we have in the studio here in Lagos, we have Okechuku Mwaguma, who is the Executive Director of the Network on Police Reform in Nigeria. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. I'm National Coordinator. National mm -hmm. Coordinator. Okay. All right. Then joining us from our Abuja studios, we have CSP Vandefan James, who is a retired police officer, and Mike Ejiofor, uh, Security, Security Specs Director. and retired director in the... The ESS. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Okay, so let's start from Abuja. Um, this debate, where are you when it comes to the state police issue? Let me start with Mr. Ejiofor. Well, I think um, this is the indication of my viewpoint. Uh, you know, I'm always conversed for the state police. Uh, I want to also congratulate the National Assembly for taking the initiative to see that this uh, issue of the state police comes on board and it is uh, speedily passed as they have uh, taken the initiative. My reasons are obvious. A lot of, uh, if you look at the many interest groups, you recall the, the security summit organized by the National Assembly early this year. This was the vice president who personally called for the establishment of a state police in view of the rising uh, state of crime in Nigeria. You also look at uh, the state governors who initially was opposed to it are now calling for uh, state police. A lot of stakeholders, civil society organizations, people are calling for this uh, state police because that is the only way I believe our security challenges can be tackled. The reasons are obvious. If you get the people from the state, they know their environment, the language, the people there, the cultural affinity and everything comes to play. And uh, it, will, it will help in providing in the intelligence to the, the chief executive who ordinarily is regarded as the uh, Chief Security Officer of the state, who has no control over 
such a, a police like the federal police. But the argument has been that it will be abused. And I ask, if you weigh the advantages and the disadvantages, and they say it will be abused, is there anything that is not abused in Nigeria? Even in the federal police, there are abuses. The courts are there to take uh, responsibility for anybody who has abused the process. Or the regulatory body, like the federal uh, uh, police, the national police, we have the police service uh, commission that can take this okay. action against them. So I don't think that fear is unfounded, and uh, I believe uh, that's the right way to go. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Jeffo. We will take a moment and we'll come back to continue the conversation. We will start out with the retired police officer when we return from this break. Please don't go away.